Hello, in this video we're going to review in detail the setup section within the Do Finder control panel. This section is divided into indexes, search layers and settings. Let's start from the beginning. In the indexes tab you will see the data source that you have configured in order to index the products within the Finder. Normally it will be either a data feed or your store will be connected to our platform via our API. In this case, we have an index called product in which you can see that we are indexing a CSV file. If you click on add source, you can see the different options available through a URL by uploading a file such as a CSV or connecting with your platform to obtain the information directly from the VR API. At the bottom, you can see the logs of the different tasks that have been performed. You can see the date and time of each task, as well as the indexed products or the errors produced in said task. You can also force the indexing of feed uh, through the process now button in case you need it. To the right, you can configure the indexing options and here you can add indexing tasks at specific times up to a maximum of six tasks with a minimum of two hours between tasks. Or you can configure the date and hour at which you want to index your catalog. Likewise, you can group products variations so that in a general search only the parent product appears but in a specific search, the variations also appear. Let's go to the following section. Suggestions are an additional index that is generated automatically from the content within your data feed. For example, titles and brands. And it also includes searches carried out by users. You also have the possibility to add terms that you want to be suggested through the custom suggestions or to remove terms from the suggestions through the menu blacklist of search terms. To save changes, click on save. And if you want this change to be applied now, you will click on process now. If you want it to be processed automatically, clicking on the save would be enough. But the automatic indexing of suggestions is done every Sunday. Let's continue with the next section, settings. In basic settings, you will be able to modify part of the configuration of the search engine that you are currently selecting, which you can see in the upper part of the screen. Here you have the name that you want to give the search engine, the URL, language, currency and sector. And finally, you also have the option to delete the search engine. Next step, security settings. In this first point, um, here you can authorize more URLs to use the search engine that you are selecting simply by adding the URL and authorizing it. Another function would be to block certain IPs such as IPs that you have detected as spam. Now we are going to continue with one of the most important functionalities of DoFinder, facets or filters. This functionality allows users to filter, for example, as you have in here by size, color, or availability. For example, let's delete the filter color and add it again so that you can see how it's done. Let's click on choose field, and here you can select parameters that your feed currently has, such as categories, colors, etc. Let's select the field color, and under label, we can select the name that will be displayed for our users. Don't forget to tick the visible option so that it will be shown and click the add button and then hit save and your facet should be working. Also, if you click on the three dots on the left of each facet, you can select the order in which uh, these appear in your search layer. And now let's head to the next section, search fields. Here you can configure the relevance of each field to your feed through the way that you can give it manually. It must be said that these weights are created automatically by DoFinder and we do not recommend touching them unless you are very, very sure about it. 
In general, the name of the product should have the most relevance. But how does it work? For example, when someone searches for Nike t-shirt, what is more relevant? The word t-shirt or the word Nike? The word Nike refers to the brand field of the feed and the t-shirt term refers to the category field of the feed. You could, for example, um, increase the multiplier of the brand field to three so that the brand is more relevant in all searches. Something interesting is that here you can add or remove fields from the feed. For example, there are many online stores that have recurring searches through serial numbers. If this is your case, you can add this field within your data feed and add it in this section so that the search engine uh, will take it into account as soon as you receive searches for it. Or for example, if you add a description to the products, you can click on field, search for description, select the weight and add it with the add button. This way the product descriptions as well as the words that those fields contain would also be part of the relevance of the search results. Once the changes are made, click save and that's it. Let's go to the next section. Custom sorting allows us to define the criteria by which to sort the search results. By default, do find the sets the score, which is the relevance of each product for the search term. You can, however, define that the first products that appear are those available. To do this, you will add the field availability as ascending as the first ordering criterion, showing in the first positions those products that are in stock. And once these are finished, those that are out of stock. These two subsets will be presented ordered by the second ordering criterion, which would be the score. I know this is a bit technical, so if you have any doubts, don't hesitate to contact us via our website or via email through our support email, support at dofinder.com. A great day. Cheers.